Hi, I'm Rick, Sean Thomas, um, Ricardo Thomas's father. Just wanted to explain a little about the day he went missing after having an argument with his sister coming home from school and decided to walk off in front and go home without letting his sister know. So it was just basically a normal day for me. Um, I was at work doing my normal shift and was planning to come and visit the kids that evening. Um, towards the end of the day, um, I got a phone call to say that Ricardo had gone missing. And straight away, panic just kicked in. Ran out of work, jumped in my car and drove across London because I needed to get to my daughter to find out what had happened. And on the way down, just started feeling emotional. Panic was kicking in because I just didn't know what had happened to you. Um, I don't know the full story at this time because all I was told is that you was just missing. And yeah, just panicking because we don't know and you know praying that you was okay was getting very emotional even started to cry something i don't do often so and because in this day and age you know there's just a lot of bad things what happen out there so your mind just not thinking straight so finally i got to um whack club where they were both my kids do drama and got to my daughter and as I got to my daughter I was told that you had been found which was a huge sigh of relief because you know it was just one of the most worrying points in my life ever and that's something you do not wish on any parent, your son going missing. And to find out that you'd been found was the best feeling in the world. And yeah, that was, that was basically it on that part of it. And then obviously coming when you finally came in through the doors gave you a big hug was I was mad with you and your sister for <laughs> having arguments in the first place and you walking off but for me at that point it was just you being in my arms and yeah and having to go into the room with the police and exp and listen to you explain what you had actually done um you'd actually decided to walk all the way home which was um like a 20 minute walk and i didn't even know you'd actually knew the full route to walk home and then decided that no one was at home you decided to walk to whack because i only thought you'd only knew that route from going from school because it's um the only time you actually do go there for, is from school straight to work and then straight home. So listening to you explain to the police what you'd actually done. I was, it's up, it was upsetting that you walked off, but you, you was pretty brave to do well from walking all the way home and deciding to walk all the way to work. I mean, I know we didn't have much of um, a discussion about it, but I'd like to get you, you know, get your thoughts on, on the day. How was, how was you feeling and your emotions?